Ensure video is viewed in highest quality. Start the video, and in the bottom right hand corner, select the gear icon. Select quality, and select 1080p from the list. If 1080p is not an option, try a different internet browser. Using the chaptering features, down below, go to description, select show more, and click the blue numbered hyperlink from the list for the section you would like to watch. The section will start. To view in full screen, select the full screen option in the bottom right hand corner. To stop viewing in full screen, press the escape button on your keyboard. Document Submittal eTracker Update The DSA Registration Administrator will receive notification that projects are due for OTC Submittal in the following Registration Admin Dashboard bins. OTC Project Registered, Pending Initial Submittal, and OTC Project Registered, Pending Resubmittal. The DSA Registration Administrator will receive an email notification from DSA Box when submittal documents have been uploaded. Open the eTracker application and update the received date. If documents are not submitted, register admin. If documents are not submitted, the register administrator will indicate late submittal in eTracker and send email to client and design professional with notification that re-registration is required. Submittal Documents. EPR Administrator will receive a notification on their EPR Admin Dashboard. In the Project Received Pending Intake bin, sort by OTC to view the over-the-counter projects. Retrieve submitted files from the DSA box. Go to the Office Application Number, AE License, Submittal to DSA, Plan Review, Plan Review Submittal. Select the Version 1 folder. Use Control A to select all files, then select Download. Open Windows Explorer and go to Downloads. Right click on the My Box selected zip folder and select Extract All from the drop down menu. Rename selected destination to the application number and then version 1. Select Extract to extract all files. Verify the naming convention of all files. Confirm formatting of documents. Go to Bluebeam Studio, select Open, go to Download, select File, and click Open. Verify the file size of all files. Select all files, click Open. Verify drawing preparation. Confirm that a blank stamp area has been included on each page of the document for the DSA digital identification stamp. View bookmarks. Confirm that bookmarks match the index sheet of the drawing. Click the Audit Bookmarks button to verify that there are no broken bookmarks. Confirm page labels. Confirm that page labels are on each of the sheets. And that they match the bookmarks, including sheet number and sheet name. Confirm that the document has been flattened, but that there are no markups in the bottom markup list. Confirm that layers have been removed. Select the Layers tab and there should be no layers listed. Confirm that a sheet count has been included on the index sheet of drawings and that it matches the Bluebeam sheet count. Verify hyperlinks have been created. 
select the hyperlink listed on the index sheet and verify that all index sheets highlight blue. Verify that scanned drawings have been scanned in properly. Select two bookmarks in each of the sections to confirm that render time is less than one second. Verify specification formatting. Confirm that bookmarks have been created. Click the Audit Bookmarks button to confirm there are no broken bookmarks. Confirm the document has been flattened and that there are no markups in the bottom tracker. Verify the format of the DSA 103 form. Confirm that the document has been flattened and that there are no markups in the bottom tracker. Verify supporting documents. Confirm bookmarks have been created and that there are no broken bookmarks by clicking the Audit Bookmarks button. Confirm the document has been flattened and that there are no markups in the bottom markup list. Review all formatting for all supporting documents. They should be flattened, and if they're greater than 30 pages, they should be bookmarked. If documents are not properly formatted, email the design professional to resubmit documents in one day. If documents are not submitted, update the eTracker application screen, check the incomplete box, and add the following note in the client customer note section. Project incomplete, not formatted correctly, and return to client on. Issue an incomplete letter to the school, district owner, and copy the architect and engineer stating the project was incomplete. Prepare documents for session. Select the Manage Status Gear at the top of the markup list. Confirm that the DSA Backcheck menu is listed for all documents. If a foreign model exists, select the foreign model and click the red X to delete. Click OK. Then select the Manage Status Gear again. Confirm the DSA Backcheck menu. Click OK. Complete steps on all PDF files submitted. Once backcheck menu has been confirmed, save and close PDF files. Add typical notes to the DWG V1 file. On the cover page, put the void application note and the notice to the design professional note. Check the eTracker application screen for an EPR ID. If there is an EPR ID for this project, then the project is a resubmittal and the Bluebeam Studio project has already been created. Open Bluebeam Studio software. Go to the EPR Administrator eTracker dashboard. Project received pending intake bin. Sort by over the counter. And then highlight the origin ID, the application number, the increment number, and the project name. Right-click and select Copy. Return to Bluebeam Studio. Click Home, then select Start. Select New Project from the drop-down menu. Paste the eTracker information into the project name. Click OK. Go to Bluebeam Studio Project and click Upload Folder button. Under the Studio tab, on the X drive, go to the Electronic Plan Review folder, into the Administrator folder, and then into the Bluebeam Project Template folder. Select the folder to match the number of increments that the project has. Select Folder, and the Bluebeam Studio Project folder structure will upload. The increment number is shown on the eTracker dashboard project received pending intake bin. In the Bluebeam Studio Project tab, select Settings. Select the User Access tab and uncheck Restrict Users. Click the Permissions tab, click the green plus icon, and add the DSA Direct Employees group. Update the permissions for attendees. Change send invitations to allow. Confirm all other are denied. Select the DSA Direct Employees group. Update permissions. Send invitations is allowed. 
Manage user access is denied. Manage permissions is denied. Send PDFs to sessions is allowed. Revoke checkout is denied. Share file links is denied. Full control is denied. Click apply. Click the folder permissions tab. Select the green plus button and add DSA and direct employees. Expand the Bluebeam project folder structure. Update the DSA review folder to read, write, and delete for DSA direct employees. Submissions, read, write, and delete. Approval, read. Attendees, update the permission level for submission to read, write, and delete. DSA review for hidden and approval, Read. Click Apply. Click OK to close the settings window. Update eTracker application screen EPR ID with Bluebeam Studio project ID. Upload the version 1 submittal file folder. Under DSA Plan Review, Plan Review Documents, right click the folder. Select Upload Folder. Go to Downloads. Select the application number. Select the version 1 folder and select folder. Files will upload to Bluebeam Studio project. Create Bluebeam Studio session. Right click on the PR tracking table. For increment files, select the increment PR tracking table. Click add to new session. Name session, office, underscore, application number, plan review, project name. Click OK. To create session. Set session permissions. Click the settings tab on the Bluebeam Studio session tab. Click attendees. Uncheck restrict attendees. Click permissions tab. Click the green plus icon to add DSA direct employees group. Update permissions. Save as is allow, print is allow, markup is allow, markup alert is allow, add documents is allow. Confirm attendee permission levels. Click apply, click OK. Return to the Bluebeam Studio project. Right click the DSA additional comments file and select add to plan review session. Invite the OTC scheduler. Click the white envelope icon next to the project name. Add email manually by clicking the green plus icon and entering the email address. Click OK. Alternatively, you can use the address book button to open your local email address book. Search for employee. Select name, click 2. Click OK. Click OK to send Bluebeam Studio invitations. OTC Phase 1 Review. The design professional record will report to the DSA Regional Office at the scheduled OTC appointment time. The design professional and the plan reviewer will meet to verify the project is OTC qualified and that it is a complete submittal. Lead plan reviewer will log in to the electronic backcheck station as a guest user and will log in to Bluebeam Studio. Open Bluebeam software, connect to Bluebeam Studio. Under the Studio tab, select Home, select Join, paste the nine digit EPR ID. Click OK. The Bluebeam project folder structure can be expanded by double clicking on the parent folder. Double click increments, double click DSA review, and double click plan review documents to view the version 1 folder. The version 1 folder contains all original submittal documents. Double click folder to open. Select documents for review. Right click document, 
and select Open. Review document to verify the project is OTC qualified and that it is a complete submittal. If submittal does not qualify for OTC review, notify the design professional of rejected submittal and refer to Procedure 1804 for regular project review. The lead plan reviewer shall notify the EPR administrator that the project does not qualify for OTC and that registration and submittal as a regular project is required. If the submittal is not complete, notify the design professional that the OTC appointment will need to be rescheduled and a complete submittal re-uploaded to DSA Box. The lead plan reviewer will notify the EPR administrator that the project is not complete. OTC submittal not qualified or incomplete. The lead plan reviewer notifies the EPR administrator that the submittal is incomplete or does not qualify. The submitted items shall be moved to the rejected folder in Bluebeam Studio Projects and deleted from DSA box. Open Bluebeam software, connect to Bluebeam Studio. Under the Studio tab, select Home, select Join, paste the nine-digit EPR ID. Click OK. Right-click the version one folder and select Rename. Rename the file to Rejected. Click OK. Update eTracker. Open the eTracker application screen and enter the following information. Check the incomplete box. And if it's not OTC qualified, add the following note in the client customer section. Smittle not OTC qualified and notify the design professional on. Log in to DSA box. Find the application number. Double click the AE license number. Submissions to DSA folder. Plan review phase, plan review submittal. Right click the version 1 folder. Select more actions, click trash. Files will delete from DSA box. Click OK. You may now close the DSA box web page screen. OTC document review. Update eTracker. Open eTracker project schedule and assign reviewers. Open eTracker project scope and add the project scope. Request that the EPR administrator add the drawing file, the spec file, and the DSA 103 form, if applicable, to the session. Alternatively, join the Bluebeam project session. Right click the project name, select the session, and click join. Return to the project by clicking the Project button at the top of the Studio tab. Select File for Upload, right-click, and select Open. Right-click the Document Name tab. Select Save As. Select Save to Disk, and Save File to the Downloads folder. Return to Session by clicking the Session button at the top of the Studio tab, and right-click the Document Name tab. Select Add to Open Studio Session. Document will upload. Repeat for all documents to be added to the Bluebeam Studio Session. Join the Bluebeam Project Session. Right-click the project name, select the session, and click Join. Review Session Documents. Right-click the document and select Open. Navigate Pages using Page Labels, the Bookmark tab, and hyperlinks. Making comments. Use the tool chest to make comments on the document. Edit comments on the sheet. Double click on your comment on the sheet and change the text as required. Click away from the box to save edits. Edit comments in the markup list. Click the filter button to activate the filter feature. Go to any column and select the down arrow and insert as desired. Go to author, select the drop down arrow, and find your name in the drop down menu. Double click the comment area to change text as required. Click outside the box to close an update comment.
While in the Bluebeam Studio session, ensure online connectivity. Under the Studio tab, confirm the plug icon is green and connected. Review supporting documents. Under the Studio tab, select Project. Double click the Increments folder, double click the DSA Review folder, double click Plan Review Documents, and double click Version 1. Review additional supporting documents. Right click the document and select Open to download. Review supporting document. Supporting documents greater than 30 pages will be bookmarked, and you can use the Bookmark tab to navigate bookmarks. Marking up supporting documents. Take a snapshot of the section of the document that needs to be marked up. Return to the drawing file and paste the snapshot into the appropriate location. Use the DSA tool chest to mark up and make comments as required. Verify all comments are made with the color red. Go to Bluebeam Studio Session, select Home, select Plan Review Session. Right click on your name in the attendee list, select Filter Markups. Expand Markup List and select Color. Scroll Markup List to verify only colors from the tool chest are being used. If red is not used for a comment, click on the comment, select Properties, and change color to red. Update the plan review tracking table. Place an X in the 85% plan review QA finish status field. Update the eTracker plan check worksheet. Enter percent complete to 85%. Enter the QA finish date. Enter the return for correction date. If documents are not code compliant, the design professional can make the required changes within the Bluebeam Studio session, and the plan review will continue until code compliance is achieved. If code compliance cannot be achieved using Bluebeam markup tools, then corrections will be made out of the session, and the design professional will be required to resubmit the drawing. If code compliance cannot be achieved during the over-the-counter appointment, then an in-person back check shall be scheduled per 1806 Section 3. If plans are code compliant, for the non-lead plan reviewer, the plan reviewer will update eTracker plan check worksheet back check to 15% and notify the lead plan reviewer. Update the plan review tracking table. Right click on the session document, PR tracking table, and select open. Place an X in the 15% back check status field. Go to the PR tracking table tool chest, select the X from the toolbox, and place it in the box. Back check. Log in to Bluebeam user account using the Bluebeam Studio switch user tool. Join the Bluebeam Studio project. Select the project from the project list. Join the Bluebeam Studio session. Right click on the project name, select show sessions from the drop down. Select the Plan Review Session and select Join. Review Session Documents. Right-click on the document and select Open. Navigate Pages using Page Labels, Bookmarks, and Hyperlinks. View comments based on individual DSA plan reviewer, as required. Go to the Studio tab, click the Session button, move mouse over DSA plan reviewer name in the Attendee field, right-click, select Filter Markup. To clear filters, repeat the process. Verify all plan reviewer red comments have been incorporated and turn to green. Expand the markup list at the bottom of the window. If red comments occur, request the design professional to incorporate all comments prior to moving forward with back check appointment. 
Each comment will be reviewed with the design professional of record. And DSA plan reviewer will mark open or close using the DSA backcheck status menu. Verify comment incorporation. Open the version 2 of the drawings. Under the documents area, right click the document and select open. View the version 1 and the version 2 side by side. Use the split screen function to split the screen. Review each comment. If a comment has been incorporated, double click in the status area and select close. If the comment has not been incorporated in the markup list in the status area, double click and select open. If a comment requires additional DSA review, the comment can be temporarily set to additional review required. In the markup list, double left click on the status area, select additional review required, and then change the status to open or close once the review is complete. Use the tool chest to make new comments on the version two of the document as required during the back check appointment. Edit comments on the sheet. Double click the comment and edit comment as required. Edit comment in the bottom markup list. In the bottom markup list, double click the text in the comments section and edit as required. Update the plan review tracking table. Go to the studio tab and select the document under the documents list. Right click the document and select open. Update the list of session documents that have been reviewed. Go to the tool chest and using the PR tracking table tool, add the new list of documents and double click to update the version number. If the current review file is approved, add an underscore A to the file name. If the file is approved as corrected, add an as corrected to the file name. If the current review file has no more outstanding items, provide a strike through on the file name. Double click in the box, highlight the document name to be struck through, go to the properties tab. Under appearance, go to font style, select strike through font to strike through the document name. If documents are not code compliant, the design professional can make the required changes within the Bluebeam Studio session, and the plan review will continue until code compliance is achieved. If code compliance cannot be achieved using Bluebeam markup tools, then corrections will be made out of the session, and the design professional will be required to resubmit the drawing. If plans are code compliant for the non-lead plan reviewer, the plan reviewer will update eTracker plan check worksheet back check to 15% and notify the lead plan reviewer. Finalize review by lead plan reviewer. The lead plan reviewer, after the documents are determined to be code compliant by all plan reviewers, will do the following. Update the plan review tracking table. Right click on the session document PR tracking table. Select the open. Place an X in the 15% back check status field. Verify the PR tracker table is complete for all disciplines. Confirm that any as corrected items have been included in the latest document version. In the PR tracker table file, identify for the DSA EPR administrator which session documents will receive approval stamps. Cross out non lead plan reviewer list of documents.
and label the latest version by adding an underscore A to the file name. Strike through previous document version names. Update back check to 15% in eTracker plan check worksheet. Do not send the approval letter. The EPR administrator will do this after the approval documents get processed. Complete a DSA 153 form. Open the Bluebeam Projects DSA review folder. Open the plan review documents folder. Right click on the 153 form. Select open. Right click on the document name tab and select checkout. Update the DSA 153. Right click on the document name tab and select check in. Click check in. Click on the X in the document name tab to close file. Receive notification of approved documents from the eTracker dashboard back check completed stamp out pending bin. Select project from eTracker bin list and highlight and copy the nine-digit EPR code. Open Bluebeam and connect to Bluebeam Studio. Select Join and paste the nine-digit EPR ID code in the Join window. Right-click the project name, select Show Sessions, select Session, and click Join. Open the PR tracking table. Right-click on File Name, select Open. Verify on X has been placed in the 15% back check field, or in the not required. If an X has not been placed, contact the plan reviewer. Open documents that have been identified with an approved A on the file name shown on the PR tracker table. In the lead plan reviewer discipline box, include drawings, specifications, and DSA 103, if applicable. Click on the Project Save icon, double-click Folders, to expand to Approval, Plan Review, Documents. Change the document name to include the office number, the application number. Change the version number at the end of the document name to an A for Approved. Click OK. File was saved to Bluebeam Studio Project Approvals folder. After file is saved, click on the document name tab. Right click and select check out from drop down menu. Click the stamp icon at the top of the screen. Go to one DSA stamp and click the edit icon. Update the application number. If there's no increment number, remove increment number and leave blank. Check the boxes for the disciplines reviewed. Right click the stamp name tab and click save. Go to the documents page Select Stamp and stamp in the 2.5 by 2 inch square. Right click the stamp and select Apply to all pages from the drop down menu. Stamp will apply to all document pages in the same location. Stamp the seal page of the specifications and stamp the signed page of the 103 form. Flatten all stamped documents. Select the flatten icon, verify no check mark is in the allow markup recovery field, and click check all. Click flatten, repeat for all stamped documents. After the documents have been flattened, right click the document name tab and click save. Right click the name tab again to check in. Select check in document will check in to the Bluebeam Studio project. Once document has been checked in, click the X icon in the document name tab to close file. Repeat for all documents. 
copy approved documents to DSA Box and Navigator. Open Windows Explorer. Go to the C drive. Select the user folder. Select your username. Open the app data folder. Select local. Select the Bluebeam project folder. Select the 00, zero folder. Find the project ID in the list. Double click the increments folder. Open the approval folder. Open the plan review documents folder. Use control A to select all files. Open the DSA box project folder structure. Select the application number, then select the DSA approvals folder. Select the approved record set folder and click and drag the files from the open C drive to the approved folder. Files will upload. Also save a copy of these files to Navigator. The design professional will receive a notification from DSA Box that approved documents have been uploaded to the Box folder. Close any open Bluebeam PDF files. Go to the increments folder and double click. Double click the DSA review folder. Double click the plan review documents folder. Open the version 1 folder by double clicking. Select all documents that are not a drawing file, a specification file, the 103 form, the PR tracking table, or the DSA additional comments file. Using control, select multiple files at once. Include version 2 and greater of any supporting documents that were submitted, as well as the DSA 153 form. Once all files are selected, right click on a highlighted file. Select Open, Files will open. Once files have opened, go to the file ribbon across the top and select the Combine icon. Ensure Include Bookmarks is checked. Select OK. Files will combine. Once files have combined, right click the document name tab and select Save As. Select Save to Disk. Rename File Folder to Red Folder. Save it to a temporary location, such as your Downloads folder. Select Save. In the Bluebeam Studio Project tab, select Leave to close all files. Save Red File Document to Navigator. Go to eTracker Plan Check Worksheet. Enter the date stamp, the number of sheets stamped, and field reviewed by. Click Save. Click OK on both pop-up windows. Click Approval of Plan Letter. The Approval of Plan screen will open. Click Create Letter, and then click Return to Plan Check Worksheet. Template email number one, improperly formatted OTC documents. Create email, open Windows Explorer, go to the X drive, go to the electronic plan review folder, administrator folder, template emails folder, 18-08, and open the template email number one. Select the italicized text and using Control C, copy text. Open Microsoft Outlook. Select New Email. If the From field does not appear, go to Options and select From. Select the drop down and change it to the DSA EPR email address. 
If the regional office EPR email address is not listed, select Other Emails and input the regional office email address. In the subject field, put the application number and the project name. Select the body of the email and using Control V, paste the italicized text. This email is used when PDF documents are submitted but incorrectly formatted. Update the email template by selecting the improperly formatted items. and changing the text format to bold and highlighted. This email shall be sent to the design professional of record. The email address can be copied from the eTracker application screen. Send email to the design professional of record.